And now to an NBC News exclusive. Two of the heroes who stopped that attack on a Paris-bound train speaking out together for the first time. Mark McGallion was shot and wounded trying to stop the gunman. That's when U.S. Airman Spencer Stone, a trained paramedic, jumped in, tackled the shooter, and went on to save Mark's life. Spencer is with us this morning from Los Angeles, and Mark joins us from Paris. Gentlemen, good morning. It is an honor to speak with both of you. Mark, let me start with you. You were just recently discharged from the hospital. You were shot, the only one who, who took a bullet. You were one of the first people to notice this person on the train acting suspiciously. First of all, how are you feeling this morning? Well, I'm feeling pretty good, all things considered. Let's go back to that day on the train. As I understand it, you were sitting with your wife, Isabel. You noticed this gunman go into the bathroom. You thought it looked a little suspicious. When he came out, there he was with the gun. What happened next? Well, at that moment, I saw, I looked to my left and saw the, the young Frenchman who wishes to re remain anonymous. He jumped the guy first, and then the, uh, the door in front of me closed, and at that moment, I turned to my wife, Isabel, and told her to get out of there, and then I said the same to some of the passengers behind me. Then the door opened back up, and I went in, and somehow managed to uh, get the AK-47, and I, I made, I took maybe five or six steps, and then he shot me in the back. I saw the gunman had retrieved his, his gun and was walking down the aisle, and I thought he was going to shoot me in the head at that point. So I decided just to play dead, and I closed my eyes. And then I heard uh, some noises, um, and I opened my eyes just in time to see uh, Spencer's body flying through the air. Uh, tackling the gunman. And let's bring in Spencer Stone to pick up the story from there because Spencer, I know you had been sleeping. Suddenly you see this commotion. You leap over Mark and, and attack this gunman. What do you remember? Uh, I remember hitting him pretty hard. We both fell down and uh, I was kind of reaching for the gun. I couldn't find it so I just put him in a rear naked choke to defend myself. And that's when my friend Anthony and Alec came up right behind me. Um, they took the AK from him. He pulled out the, the pistol, pulled it back, put it against my head, click, it didn't work. I guess the, uh, the clip managed to fall out beforehand. And uh, then we pried that out of his hands. Uh, next thing I know, I see he's got a box cutter and he started to slash up my neck and my, cut my finger uh, down to the bone. Um, and then I just started screaming, you know, he's got a knife, he's got a knife, get the knife. And then I put him in another chokehold and just uh, choked him unconscious. And I ran over Mark and uh, stuck my finger in his neck and stopped the bleeding. It's amazing. I mean, both of you had those moments where you felt this was it, this is the end. Mark, do you remember that moment? Do you remember Spencer leaning over you and helping you? I remember it very well because he was talking to me, trying to keep me uh, from losing consciousness. And he was asking me where I was from and then told me where he was from and said, after this is all over, we're going to go get a beer. And um, he, just, he just kept me... It just kept me there, you know, his voice, the sound of his voice, and also the sound of my wife's just kept me there, you know, kept me alive and uh, gave me hope. And Spencer, in that moment, you yourself are bleeding, as we now know, your thumb was nearly severed off. What was going through your mind as you're sitting here trying to save this other man's life and not knowing your own condition? I mean, I didn't feel any of my injuries. I was really just focused on Mark, and I just did not want him to die, especially with uh, Isabel right there. Everyone here is so, so proud of both of you, so relieved that you were there, so relieved and amazed at your fearlessness in the face of something so terrifying. And, and we brought you together because we we know you wanted to be together, and Mark, I know you, you wanted to, to talk to Spencer directly, so I'll get out of the way and let you do that. Spencer, I'd just like to tell you again, thanks for saving my life. I know I've said it already, and but uh, I'll never forget it, and uh, I think you still owe me a beer, so we'll have to get that set up somehow. <laughs> going to get that beer and it's going to be under, you know, different circumstances this time. So I'll see you soon, man. Well, we certainly hope that beer happens. Sounds good. It's such an honor to have both of you here and tell us your stories. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Mark McGallion and Airman Spencer Stone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Savannah.